With Christmas fast approaching, everybody's looking for that latest and greatest stocking filler or present to buy. Well, this is a smartphone controlled paper plane. One look at the price tag and half of you guys will be instantly turned away. This thing does cost $49.99 and considering it's made out of paper, and by paper this isn't even like reinforced cardboard, I literally mean red paper, you can understand that it's quite a tricky sell. Inside the box we get four sheets of paper, two of one type of aircraft and two of a more advanced type of aircraft which you can build once you've tried the original. It's been a while since I've done some origami so let's give it a go. So guys, that is it. This is the infiltrator plane as they call it. Now, I'm not going to lie, the instructions were a little bit hazy at times. It was quite tricky to actually follow what was going on. Um, it's in very small text and the images aren't too clear, but I think I've got it close enough. So you basically just clip the motor onto the end, which makes it quite front heavy. So if you've not actually done this perfectly, then it will just instantly nosedive. The plane actually uses a combination of Bluetooth 3.0 and a very very highly polished and well designed app to pair your phone and the plane. And as soon as I actually downloaded and started the app I have to say I was getting pretty jolly at this point. It is incredibly well made. You can see that actually slowly pushing up the lever increases the speed of the motor on the back and tilting your phone from side to side using the gyro sensors will actually rotate the rudder of the plane which in concept at least is absolutely awesome. But then it comes to actually flying it, and I have to say, I had absolutely zero success. It was just one failed attempt after another, one loop the loop, followed by a trawl across the floor. This thing, no matter how many times I tried to make it, I tried the advanced model, I tried the basic model, I tried folding it inside out, both ways, I tried it outdoors, I tried it indoors, and it just would not fly straight. A lot of the reviews on the website said it was a fantastic gadget, but from everything I've tried, it just doesn't live up to what I was expecting. The idea is really cool, the app is really well thought out, but for $50 you can actually buy a remote control plane that isn't made out of paper, and that renders this almost useless. Thanks for watching, I'm Mr. Who's a Boss, and this really isn't insanely cool tech.